a Boeing 747 was on a final approach towards Madrid Airport. But a number misread by the co-pilot took the aircraft below the minimum safe altitude. The aircraft continued on heading towards Madrid, descending until it collided with the ground and broke in five pieces and came to rest, which killed 181 of 192 people. November the 27, 1983, Charles de Gaulle Airport, France. A Boeing 747 was engaged in a scheduled flight from Frankfurt, Germany to Bogota, Colombia with the stopovers in Paris, Madrid and Venezuela. of the flight was Tulio Hernandez, who had been serving with Avianca for 35 years and had a record of 23,215 flight hours, including 2,432 hours on the Boeing 747. The first officer was Eduardo Ramirez, who had 4,384 flight hours including 875 hours on the Boeing 747. The main flight engineer was Juan Lave, who had 15,942 flight hours, including 3,676 hours on the Boeing 747. The backup flight engineer was Daniel Zota. The flight was scheduled to take off at 9.05 but was delayed 1 hour 20 minutes because 55 passengers were coming from Frankfurt on Lufthansa. The flight took off from Charles de Gaulle Airport, Paris for Madrid Barajas Airport with 169 passengers, 19 crew members and 4 additional air crew were off duty. Flight attendants, please prepare for take. was scheduled to proceed via Lemoges, Pamplona, Barahona and Castezon. The crew contacted Area Control Center of Madrid. Flight 011 was close to its destination, so the crew requested for descent, and it was cleared by Area Control Center to descend to flight level 190.
Then the ACC transferred the aircraft to Madrid approach, informing that the flight had passed Barahona and inquiring whether it could be sent direct to Charlie Papa Lima. Then approach controller replied accepting that. The aircraft was clear to descend down to flight level 190. Then the aircraft altered heading to CPL. It was just 30 seconds after they crossed Barahona. The captain asked their position from the co-pilot. The latter was apparently tuning the VOR receiver and the captain asked again whether he was selecting the Castezone VOR. The co-pilot replied that it was Barahona and mentioned the wrong frequency for the latter. When questioned by the captain concerning this information, he corrected the frequency figure. The captain confirmed the frequency and pointed out that they were already passing Barahona. After that, they immediately selected the Castezone VOR because a comment by the co-pilot in the cockpit voice recorder suggested that the aircraft was aligned on Castizon. Around 35 seconds after they passed Barahona, ACC informed the aircraft that it was passing Barahona and clear to proceed direct to Charlie Papa Lima and descend to flight level 90. After that, the co-pilot tried to insert the coordinates of the Madrid VOR into the INS. But he was having difficulties in inserting the coordinates. The captain realized that the co-pilot was having difficulties and suggested heading for the VOR and asked the frequency. The co-pilot replied and gave the frequency but they did not select the VOR navigation system on the autopilot with the result that the airplane continued flying towards Castezon in accordance with the INS instructions. The captain had doubts whether the CPL position had been inserted into the INS. Then the co-pilot gave the longitude and latitude of CPL and the captain apparently began to insert it in the INS. After that, the aircraft began turning towards CPL. Now the flight was clear to approach runway 33 at Barajas. When they were close to 9,000 feet, the co-pilot began the ILS approach chart checks to runway 34, giving the elevation of the airport. The co-pilot indicated that the crossing altitude of the marker was 2,382 feet. At this point, the reading was wrong. The digits for the thousands and hundreds were reversed. The correct figure was 3,282 feet and was read out as 2382. Without checking his approach chart, the captain continued descending below 3,282 feet.
instead of turning right at the Madrid VOR, the crew initiated a taunt short of the VOR beacon. The aircraft descended below the minimum safe altitude for that area. The captain began the turn before he had reached CPL, probably because he no longer had a DME distance to CPL or perhaps because there was a cumulative error in the INS which misled him into thinking that he was closer to CPL than he was. Then the captain disconnected the autopilot. Tower cleared the aircraft to land on runway 33, giving the wind data. The crew reactivated the autopilot as the turn was completed. From this moment, the aircraft began a steady descent. Probably because the captain, in reconnecting the autopilot, forgot to put the altitude mode selector on altitude hold, or because he was expecting to reach 2,382 feet. The investigation was done by CIA IAC Spain. According to the investigators, the cause of the accident was that the captain, without having precious knowledge of his position, went to intercept the ILS with an incorrect trajectory, without initiating the published instrumental approach maneuver, descending below all the safety margins of the area until collided with the terrain. Between Barahona and the beginning of the turn towards Madrid airport, the crew did not carry out the appropriate procedures, so they made an incorrect navigation. The crew flew below the minimum safe altitude before entering the CPL. What is your opinion about the video and the investigation report? Please don't forget to share your thoughts. Click here to subscribe our channel for more videos like this and give a thumbs up if you found the video interesting. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.